Hello, best friend, and oh, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. Girl, we got to talk about Selena Gomez, but before we do, I wanted to do something and actually, my mom, she told me that, you know, she gave me this really good idea. And it's basically, I want to do a shout out of, of one of you guys in my videos. So uh, the way that I, I haven't really thought exactly of how to do it, but I want to like, you know, I post five 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 videos a day, five, six videos a day, sometimes six, but mostly five. And you guys are so amazing and you comment and you like and you share and you're just so sweet. So I want to acknowledge that by giving a special shout out to somebody. So I think what I will do is I will look, I will search for maybe like the best comment that I could find or the most unique one or the sweetest one. I don't know what I'm really looking for. Just one that really pops up, pops out and I'm gonna shout you out. So the good thing is that since I do so many videos a day, there's a chance that all of you are gonna get one at some point. So I think I'm just looking for, you know, maybe like uh, you responding about the, the, the situation that I'm talking about or, you know, telling me something unique about you or, you know, um, I don't know, you know, something like that, just something that pops out. It could be like a sweet message. It could be an inspirational message. It could be, you know, what you thought of the topic I spoke about. It could be, you know, something, like I said, unique about you. It could be like um, just something, just a comment that just pops up. It could literally be like the shortest thing, you know, with just like a bunch of emojis, you know, whichever comment speaks to me, I will shout you out in my videos. And I think I'm going to name it like the messy shout out of the day, which will be like five because, you know, there is literally five, um, five uh, videos a day. So you never know which video you're going to get a shout out. So make sure that you watch my videos because you are getting you are getting a shout out and maybe something little more here and there. So, all right. Now that we got that out of the way, let me know if you guys like it and also let me know if you have any ideas of how I should go about this, okay? All right. So, uh, Selena Gomez, you know me, it's just like blah, 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 blah. Selena Gomez is getting called out. Now, one thing that I have definitely seen in my comment sections are when the haters say that Selena Gomez is a professional victim, that she likes to always seem like the victim. That's kind of like the most thing I've read about her uh, from the haters. And she's getting called out for an Instagram post that she posted with Taylor Swift. And the post says, she looks stunning, I look constipated. And the fans, well, not the fans, but I should say the haters are hatering, okay? Because um, I'm just going to read a couple comments and then, you know, we can talk about it. A couple, yeah, comments about that. So it says, isn't Selena tired of being a victim of something in every situation? The way she's begging for sympathy and attention by comparing herself to other women just to make the people drag them just like she did with Bella, literally a loser. Finally, people realizing how much of a pick me she is. Oh, of a pick me she is. Self-deprecating jokes for sympathy at her big age. Um, what if she's just using a common behavior of attacking herself before others attack her? People with low self-esteem often do this. Um, Y'all remember when she commented under that Bella Hadid video and she said, wish I was as pretty as you or something. And all her weird fans started insulting Bella to uplift Selena. Selena Gomez is the epitome of a cancer woman. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm honestly tired of her. At this point, she's the issue. The VMAs proved that to me. So I've definitely read a lot of comments talking about how she is, you know, trying to always seem like the victim and she's always trying to be, you know, have sympathy for her. But let me tell you guys something, okay? I see this a whole completely different way, all right? Self-deprecating humor to me is um, is definitely something that I'm used to. I used to do that quite a lot, okay? And it was because I was hanging out with somebody that was like the 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 
like the person who just literally loved self-deprecating and I and I seen that that was kind of rubbing off on me. And when you self-deprecate or whatever that's called, you put yourself down, right? And one of the comments I really can actually relate to and that's sort of how what I'm thinking about this is that yes girl, make fun of yourself before somebody else makes fun of you. Why do you think that you're doing that? Because you have been bullied so much. You know what I mean? So you want to take the power before someone has the power to put you down. You want to put yourself down before that. And that is definitely a cause of a really, you know, horrible past of being bullied, of being, you know, mistreated, of being made fun of, of all of those things, you know? And I do believe that Selena has definitely been the, like, freaking you know the 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 red dot of like people hating i mean the 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 comments you guys that she gets are absolutely disgusting you know best friend girl i'm so sorry honey i had to uh interrupt this video because you know what bitch girl, absolutely not we cannot we cannot let these motherfucking haters or bullies get the best of us absolutely not bitch you hear me you hear me? You take back your fucking power, bitch, because you are that fucking bitch, okay? No more triggering, no more drama, no more fucking, you know, uh, putting yourself down. Fuck the fucking haters, bitch. You're gonna just grab your fucking shirt and fucking throw it away, bitch, because I'm fucking done playing with people. No, I'm so serious, bitch, like for real. I'm just like, girl, we cannot allow these people to keep on fucking doing this to us. You know what I mean? And like, honestly, I'm going to tell you guys something. Liberate yourself. Liberate yourself, bitch. And don't let none of these losing losers get in the way, bitch. Because you are worthy of happiness. Okay, girl? So you want to you wanna do something? Stand up, girl. And all the fucking haters that made your life miserable in school or who are fucking leaving horrible comments right now in your DMs and in your comment section or in real life, your co-worker, your family, you know what you do, bitch? You just go about your fucking blessed day, okay? Because they're the ones living in misery. Not you, bitch. Just wanted to say that. Yes, did I have a nervous breakdown? Yes, but it was a nervous breakdown of clarity because I'm just so tired of living in a fucking, like, you know, prison that, like, these stupid-ass people put you in and you're like, uh, hello, it's actually an invisible prison. I can actually get out of this. So you know what? We're getting out of it. We are living our best fucking life. Amen. I mean so I definitely do think that Selena Gomez for sure has you know you know she's starting to kind of get into her own skin and she's starting to to really see her worth I believe you can tell with the glow but I definitely do think that she does have this attitude of her that you know what let me take the power before anyone else has it you know what I mean and I definitely think that from all of the hate that Selena Gomez has gotten I really don't think that, you know, you, you can like get out of that and, and without any kind of, you know, trauma from it. And also you guys, a victim isn't such a survivor like she is. She has taken life by the damn balls, okay? And she has survived everything she has survived. She is not a victim in my eyes, bitch. She is a winner, okay? Because having gone through everything she's gone through, surviving everything she has survived, you know, using her platform for good, that's definitely not a victim. Maybe she is a little bit, you know, triggered or she has trauma from all the bullying that she's had to receive. But I don't think that she's saying that so Taylor can get attacked. I don't think she's saying that so people can feel sorry for her. I don't think she's saying that so people can comment, Oh my God, Queen, you're so beautiful. I love you. What? You literally do not look constipating. Queen of constipation. Like, that's not going to happen like that, you know? So I definitely think that there is this misconception of, you know, having residual, you know, energy and, and residual trauma from, you know, the past that definitely affects your present and future, you know? But I definitely think that this um, this humor, this self-deprecating humor, I definitely don't think that it is a very, it is funny as fuck, I will say. Like, I love dark humor and I love that. 
but it's definitely not a healthy thing you can do. I mean, once in a while you can literally, you know, whatever, but it's definitely not healthy for your mental health because you, you yourself are bringing yourself down. But because some people like I do believe Selena has been put down so much in her past, has been bullied, has been attacked, has been called every single name under the sun. I do think that she might have to have some trauma from that. And I don't think that people need to like, you know, just call her a professional victim and all these things. You don't know what people go through. You know, you don't know, you don't know what people have experienced, have, have had to witness, have had to, you know, put their head down and just accept, you know what I mean? So I don't know you guys, what do you guys think about this? This is a very tricky thing. Um, I, I definitely think that, you know, Tell me one person that that you know that sometimes that is is completely cured from childhood trauma and and I, and then I'll be very fucking surprised even if we are in peace with it sometimes I'm pretty sure we can get triggered by something okay so what do you guys think let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you guys so remember my shout out of the day I'm so excited to do this if you have any ideas of how I can go about it let me know but I definitely think I'm just gonna like choose one comment that just speaks to me that I just find you know my energy tells me that this person needs a wonderful little pick me up and a shout out and I'm gonna to do that so i love you all very much i'm very grateful for you guys and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.